Hi, this is Kevin. Um, in this presentation, I will explain how you can deal with the flat file data format in IBM WebSphere MQ. So I will explain how you can create associate source qualifier and MQ target so you can deal with the flat file data format in IBM WebSphere MQ. Connectors for IBM WebSphere MQ. Uh, basically, Informatica uh, provide two, uh, provides two different uh, connectors for IBM SPR MQ. You can use PowerExchange for SPR MQ, which uses native client. So it uses MQ client, and this one supports the flat file data format. Informatica provides another connector, which is um, PowerExchange for JMS, and this one uses generic JMS API. It is possible that your JMS provider does, uh, may not even support the flat file data format at all. So this one does not support the flat file data format. Associated source qualifier. What is associated source qualifier? So this is uh, what you need to use if at all if you deal with the flat file data format in your uh, with your MQ source. So this one determines uh, associated source qualifier determines how the power center integration service reads the message data. And also you can um, have a COBOL message data format. In that case you have to use normalizer transformation. Now um, I'm in designer. I will show you how you can deal with the uh, flat file data format in FSPR MQ. So uh, you need to have a MQ source uh, import. Uh, so you have to have a MQ source uh, in your source designer analyzer. You need to have that, and also import the source definition using flat file option. So I have a flat file data format, and I have MQ source. So let me just create a new mapping that I can uh, use associate source qualifier. So here is a MQ source definition. And let's say that I have a flat file data format in this message data column. So I will simply import the uh, just create a, a flat file source, and then the only thing I have to do is go to the associate source qualifier tab, and then just mention that this is the associate source qualifier. Okay, so here. Uh, uh, as you can see, message ID is automatically created and is created and inserted into this uh, associate source qualifier. So, message ID preserves the relationship between the header data and the message data in the WebSphere MQ source. It allows uh, uh, the parse integration service to correlate the message in the queue with their message data. Going back to the mapping, once again, once you specify the associate qualifier here, the message ID will be automatically added into the associate source qualifier. So it knows how um, message uh, needs to deal with the flat file data format. Okay, and then simply let's say that your target is also uh, with your MQ target. And then that also needs to contain the flat file data format, let's say. So your source is uh, WebSphere MQ, uh, which contains flat file data format, uh, which in this case, that's, this is how you can create the source. And the target, uh, let's say that it also has MQ target with a flat file data format. In that case, you can simply create a flat file target instead of uh, creating MQ target. And then save the mapping 
and uh, the only thing you have to do is in the session level you have to specify that it's actually MQ target not the flat file target so in the workflow major now uh, let me just create a session that uses the mapping MQ source is straightforward, however, the target is a flat file. So the only thing is here, uh, make sure this is set to flat file writer. However, the connection, you have to uh, use the Q connection. And whatever the target Q connection, that's why you need to specify. That's how you create the uh, MQ target with a flat file data format. That's pretty much it for products in for MQ, how you can deal with a flat file data format how you can create the uh, MQ source that deals with the uh, web file format and also target as well. Alright, so thank you very much for the for attending this presentation.